first piece ended up in the fire eventually. <laughs> but uh, I moved on to the, the next one and the next one and here I am today. My name is Cameron Garby uh, and this name is KG Woodcraft. Uh, well, I've been drawing since, since I was a kid. I uh, got into painting uh, in high school. Five years ago, a friend of mine gave me a set of chisels and said, hey, I think you should try carving. I think you'd be pretty good at it. Uh, and I basically dropped everything else. I wanted to try it. I was talking about it and actually uh, a few of my family members pitched in. They bought me a entry level homeowner's chainsaw. Uh, and then I went out to a friend's farm and uh, carved a tiki out of a log. And the uh, first couple summers I only did a couple pieces. Uh, but it wasn't until this summer um, that I was actually busy chainsaw carving all summer. I'm a bit of a tool junkie. Uh, so I'm on to my third chainsaw and uh, got my, my big one for um, blocking out the tree. Um, I've got a smaller one with the power groover on it for fine texture and detail. Uh, and then I got my real light one with my carving bar on it. They take different bars so you can only reach so far into the tree. Um, so there's a lot of tooling involved and uh, I do some work with the side grinders and die grinders as well. I get pictures of the tree, uh, get some ideas, uh, and then I do all my sketches beforehand, and they're original sketches that I draw from scratch. Eagles, uh, I did a piece in front of a church, so that was a dove holding a Bible uh, with some symbolism tied into it. Um, another piece was for Treaty 4, so that was a pair of shaking hands symbolizing the signing of the treaty. So whether it's nature themed or something to do with our history or um, something for fun that just people relate to that's more private in their backyard. It's really all over the place. I call them sculptures. S-K-U-L-L. If you want to get cheesy. Uh, my whole artistic process is just a constant evolution and eventually got to the point where I wanted to try carving antler and skull. Uh, and then someone gave me a set of moose antlers. Uh, I tried carving it and then I actually had a matching set. So it was just, in my mind, it's a natural evolution to like, hey, what am I gonna do with this matching set? I should probably carve a skull out of wood so that I can mount them onto it. You gotta be a little more aware of grain direction, say working with a chisel or a knife, uh, than you would with a chainsaw. And chainsaw is always going to leave a rough cut and if you want a smooth finish you're going to clean it up after. Uh, working with the chisel you have to be very uh, present with which way the grain is running uh, otherwise you end up taking off something you didn't want to. The handmade pieces uh, are definitely more artistic creations that I have in my mind more so whereas the chainsaw carving is almost always uh, commissioned or on site. The inspiration from those, uh, definitely from my travels and really just uh, the life experience and uh, the experience that is life. When people sort of ask me what my pieces mean, I would sooner ask them what it means to them because uh, I'm always interested to hear that first. As long as I got another project on the go and I'm able to make, uh, that's, I'm, just, I'm just grateful to be able to, to, to make and to uh, create. That's, Keep, keeps me happy, keeps me sane. <laughs>